Uh, hello everyone, this is a video for uh, section 3 of Landsberg's essay, The Experience of Death. And I would say that it's really in this section that we really, uh, Landsberg really begins to, uh, to start building his own ideas about death. Uh, and the, the crucial idea that's introduced uh, in section 3 is the idea of the individual or the person. Uh, he'll use those two terms more or less interchangeably, um, and but they're they're quite important uh, because, as I'll say later about the the whole uh, you might say problematic that he's addressing here in the beginning of section five, if I can find it. Uh, to skip ahead to page 205, he says, the specifically human problem of death is created by the transformation of the living being into person. Uh, and that transformation is more or less uh, very quickly described in section 3 uh, about individualization. Indi individualization and the experience of death. Um, he starts out by talking about um, what he calls... Uh, well, primitive peoples, we, we, that's probably really outmoded language, really. Talking about anthropological uh, results of his time, whether or not they really hold up, uh, I don't know. But let's just say people who were uh, at an earlier stage of uh, social development or, or political development, uh, uh, simpler forms of human life. His, his idea is that the, the consciousness of, of us, of we human beings at that earlier stage, was almost entirely a social or communal consciousness so that um, people's uh, sense of themselves was really exhausted by their sense of how they uh, fit into their communities and so so his point there is that in such a stage of human development uh, death the death of the individual is really not such a big deal because what matters not is, is, is the individual but rather what the individual contributes to the community or their social function in what he calls the social organism. So that for someone else to take that person's place, uh, to take that individual's place, to, to, to do the work or um, contribute uh, the, the whatever s they did to the community, take over their function, that that's what mattered. Uh, so man, according to the classic simile, uh, Landsberg says on page 196, are like the leaves on the tree. Um, you know, they're, they're, they, they fall off and they're replaced by somebody else and, and it really doesn't matter that much. But what's the big transformation? Uh, at the bottom of the page he says, we may therefore observe a, a historical phenomenon which is so general that it may be adduced as a law. An awareness of death goes hand in hand with human individualization, the, the constitution of the person. So uh, somewhere in uh, the development of human beings, we became true individuals, unique persons. And uh, at the same time, we developed a much more acute awareness of death so that the two phenomena, individualization or becoming a true individual person and awareness of death went hand in hand. Uh, and that, for Landsberg, is the important step. That is, it's almost as if before we developed that kind of individualization as persons, we didn't really understand death. We didn't understand the true nature of death. Death was not a big deal, but it was also not even understood sort of in its essence. Like, what, what is the true nature of death? Uh, Landsberg believes that death only reveals, a, reveals its true nature when we become individuals, and, and why is that? Well, it's not because we're smarter or, you know, something like that. Far from it. The, the, the idea is that death reveals its true nature when we become individuals because it's then that death rece re reveals itself uh, as a threat or as a menace. <coughs> that is, uh, he says, uh, it is only from this moment that he conceives a factor capable of being threatened by real annihilation. This is on page 207. That is to say, he conceives the possibility of individual death. That is, uh, death, if, 
if the death of the individual is not a big deal because it's the social organism that matters, um, then death isn't seen as a threat, it's not seen as a menace, it's not seen as a danger because it, the only thing that would be a danger was that which wiped out the whole community or the so whole social organism, but death is, is the death of individuals. It's only when we realize ourselves as unique individuals, as irreplaceable persons, uh, that death becomes something that can threaten us because essentially what death is is a threat to my personhood. It, it threatens to wipe me out and that has a significance that transcends whether or not there's somebody to replace me in doing the work of the, of the group. Uh, it's when I affirm myself as a person or an individual with, with, with a kind of a unique and irreplaceable value that death really reveals itself as that which threatens to wipe that out, to threatens to annihilate me. So a very interesting way in this section that uh, Landsberg connects up the ideas of individualization and an awareness of death and really an awareness of the true nature of death.